I can't even explain to you guys how freaking excited I am right now. We are driving through Mont Blanc. That's right, Tom. Oh, never mind. What? It's a PCR test and we have not a PCR, we have an antigenic. We are at the Italian-French border right now. I always just get so scared when it comes to like government and border things, especially because I'm not like an EU citizen, you know? We have the antigenic COVID test, but there is a sign here saying that a PCR test is obligatory. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Merci. Okay, so that thing that we just went through was not a border control. It was to pay the toll to pass through Mont Blanc. So we're literally in the... What's the underground thing called? So we just paid 59 euros return to use the Mont Blanc tunnel. It wasn't like a visa, COVID or anything like that check. So we should be good to go. The reason that it is so strict in this tunnel, they give us guidelines and stuff for using the tunnel because there was a fatal fire in this tunnel. Maybe 10 years ago now, Killian was telling me it was like a really big deal. And because the tunnel is so long, I think it's like 39 kilometers. It's just like a really dangerous tunnel and a dangerous place to be driving in. So that's why there's like the people manning the, the tunnel and stuff stuff like that just to prevent against accidents and to ensure the traffic is like moving really slowly through the tunnel. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Welcome to Italia! Ah, I'm so excited! We are in Italy. We're here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ciao Nina. Ciao Gabri. Bonjour Julian. <laughs> Back in 2018, I moved to Italy to become an au pair for this amazing family that I'm spending Christmas with this year. I had the most amazing experience imaginable from my au pair year and it just felt so good to be back and visiting them. I feel so lucky and grateful that we were able to do so this year after three years of missing them and wanting to come back. This family feels exactly like my own family. It never felt like I was the au pair. You know, I was really a part of the family and I'm so grateful that I was able to have such a good year abroad and I'm just so excited to be back. It felt like I never even left and I'm really excited to show you guys our time together over the next few days. <laughs> um, hey. hey, it's the 23. It's, oh, it's the 23rd of... Perché? I haven't the brufoli. Bellissimo. It's perfect. Me too. Mi fa, mi fa sparire... Look, on the camera, yeah. I haven't the brufoli. You know, you don't have any pimples. It's a... Look me. Look there. Wow. It's cool, hey. <laughs> and, and drink. <laughs> and drink. Look here, baby. Follow my voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, baby. Sorry, I'm just fighting World War Three. Be right back. Oh my God, there is there is one's coming, baby. <laughs> We started off by visiting our local Christmas markets and then we headed into the city. right now and I can't walk any further because there is 
one million pigeons and people that you can actually pay to feed them. So our little tour stops here. <laughs> For lunch, we stopped at a place in Piazza Duomo called Luini, which is a famous place to buy panzerotti. You can't even imagine how good Luini's panzerotti tastes. It is just the perfect flavor combination. I can't recommend you guys stop by Luini enough if you visit Milan. After being outside for the afternoon exploring the city in the freezing cold weather, we stopped by a little cafe to get a coffee and a hot chocolate to warm ourselves up before we started exploring again. Piazza Duomo has a huge Christmas market filled with lots of different good Italian goodies but we were incredibly full so unfortunately we didn't pick up anything but it was just a really nice Christmassy vibe in the city centre. We then went to check out Galleria, which is a famous old building full of designer stores. But the main attraction at Christmas time is the giant Swarovski Christmas tree right in the middle of the Galleria. It was just absolutely stunning. The ball that you see here and the girl spinning around on its balls is kind of like an old history in Milan that if you spin your heels on the balls of of the bull, good luck will come to you. After spending the day outside in the cold but exploring the beautiful city, we came home where I just spent some more quality time with the family making Christmas biscotti. I'm gonna do a moon because of Luna. Is it? Sí. <laughs> I think I broke after, it. After an incident. <laughs> after it survived Abby's cooking skills. <laughs> Ow. We ended the night with Sarah's famous lasagna. Bye, Merry Christmas everybody. I have just gotten ready and we are about to go to grandma and grandpa Nonni's house for Christmas lunch. I haven't really been recording or talking to you guys too much because I've been trying to live in the present moment and just enjoy everything as much as I can. So I hope you don't mind about that but yeah it's just been really nice so far. It's just like I never even left this place. Like I I feel so at home here and so relaxed and everything's just just so nice um so anyway yeah we're just going to go for a christmas lunch and i am so excited i know the food is just gonna be like the best food ever so i'm pretty keen um and i'm also pretty late as per usual so let's go So for Christmas lunch, we started our meal with prosciutto, pate, and salmon. You can see the bubble in and the, the camera. Bubble, the bubble, it's yeah. so cool. Gab. Then for our first plate, we had some ravioli in broth, which is a traditional Christmas meal in Milan. Parmigiano lo prendo io, cara. No, è lì, l'abbiamo già, pre già preparato, guarda, è lì. Ah. È lì, ma no, ma no, ma no, ma l'ho messo già lì. For our second plate, a nonni made some veal with a tuna cream sauce. I can't even describe to you how delicious this part of the meal was. Then we had panettone, which is a traditional Christmas time dessert in Italy. I know that Christmas can be such a difficult time, especially this year with all the COVID cases 
cases and numbers rising so I hope you guys really had an amazing Christmas and made the best of the circumstances that you were in